Hey, this is Jen Pachichi. Let's talk about what your true desire is. You might think your real desire is to, if you're an artist like me, it might be to be the most famous artist or a successful artist or to be the best at your craft or whatever it is you think it is. And if you're not a creative or an artist, what is the thing that you think you want? You might think you want love or um, a nice car or a promotion or more money, whatever it is. So I was thinking about this this weekend. I have been deep into the like self-help circles for a long time, but I try to mostly subscribe to just being in the present moment. That's the thing that's most important to me. Um, but I do have a mind that thinks thoughts and tells me that I need things. And I was thinking about what is it that I think I would have if I had like the most, not the most successful art business. I'm not even that ambitious. Just like if I had the kind of art business that I desire, what, what do I think I would have? You know, and my mind would say like, you know, recognition or money or this or that. But if you, if you look deeper at what you want and when I look deeper at what I want, the thing that I, that my ego, that my, not even my ego, like the thing that I'm truly looking for is validation. I am looking for feeling good enough. So I don't need a successful art business to feel good enough. Just like if you're looking for a relationship or whatever it is, if you if you drill down and look at like what is the feeling you really want, the feeling is probably like you want love, you want peace, you want freedom, those are the main ones. Um, and then from there, what can you do to feel that way? And if your answer is, well, I need to have a relationship to feel that way, or I need to make, I need my art to be accepted into this juried show to feel that way, then you are totally missing the point because that is, it's trying to get outside um, entities to make you feel the way that you want to feel when really the only way you can ever feel the way you want to feel is by feeling it inside first. You might think that, you know, a partner, like when you fall in love in the beginning, you know, you feel like all rainbows and sunshine and you think it's the partner making you feel that way, but really it's just the thoughts you're having, like, I'm so loved and desired, but like you could think that without having a relationship. Um, so for me, I realized what I want is I just have a, a like a, a deep, deep issue with feeling good enough. And so I realized I'm trying to use my art business to make me feel good enough. I mean, I love painting. Painting is absolutely like my aligned, like soul thing. But I noticed that I've been putting so much pressure on myself and I've been feeling stressed out while I'm painting, which I normally do not. And it's like, well, so what is that? Okay, so let's circle back around. Did you think about, you should pause this if you didn't do it. Did you think about like, what is it you think you will get? Like what feeling will you have? What, whatever will you get? And if your answer is like, I need more money, what will you feel if you have enough money? Safety, security, like what, what is it that you'll feel? piece. Um, and then once you figure out what that feeling is, so for me, the just feeling whole, feeling good enough, feeling worthy, once you figure out what that is that you want, then you can find ways to feel that without putting that external pressure on like getting accepted into that juried exhibit, getting accepted, you know, having a, an art sale, um, making a painting that's better than any other painting you've ever made, getting a certain amount of sales on your website or Etsy or whatever. So for me, the example I'm talking about, feeling good enough and feeling worthy, it's like, what can I remind myself of right now that will make me feel worthy? <laughs> One of the things that I remind myself is like, I am part of the one consciousness. And if this does not resonate with you, that's cool. You think of something for you like, I was worthy enough. I was, you know, I found peace when I was taking a walk by the lake. I felt peaceful. Um, when I held my child in my arms for the first time, like think back to ways that you knew that you were loved 
we're free, whatever it is. But for me, <laughs> like telling myself I am part of the fabric of consciousness, really all I want truly is just to feel peaceful, just to feel peaceful and calm. So even when I say what I'm looking for is, is feeling good enough or worthy, I want that so that I can feel peaceful and whole, but I am already peaceful and whole, and so are you. Your mind is just telling you otherwise. So if you're trying to get that feeling that you're looking for from something external, turn and find a way to find it on the inside. So for me, feeling good enough, just like how much my cat like sitting with me makes me feel good enough, or when I just look outside at the trees, it just reminds me, I'm looking at a tree right now, just I feel that wholeness of just being on earth and just being part of this experience, and it just feels good. And the more time that I spend, the more time that you spend feeling good, feeling that way that you want to feel anyway, the other thing, maybe you'll get it, maybe you won't, but the other thing doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because if the whole reason you're doing it is to feel this peace, this freedom, this love, this satisfaction, if you can feel that peace, love, and satisfaction now by reminding yourself of something or just letting go of all thoughts and being in the moment, then you already have the thing you wanted. So look for what you really want out of your creative practice, your creative business, and then figure out a way to feel that now. And anytime you get stressed and in the weeds about your business or your painting practice or how good you are at drawing or whatever it else it is, go inside and find a way to get that feeling from the inside instead of looking for it on the outside, okay? Tell me what you think in the comments and please subscribe because I want to spread peace. And if you feel peaceful listening to this, then you'll want to know when there's more of it available.